Okay, so here's a little update on the transducers. You got a new panel there. And I built a ghetto box out of boxes for him. The ghetto enclosure. Works quite hmm. decent. And then um, <clears throat> this is my other project right here. Restoring this Sansui amp. I've mostly got it working. Fixed the front channel. There's some crap going on with the right rear channel. Still have to figure out that. Um, only replaced two resistors so far. Next thing to do is recap the whole thing, buy new capacitors for it. I'll be doing that, but it's powering those transducers via my computer right now. And he's actually driving them better than that super fancy, nice new Onkyo amp. And this guy's only a, he's a 20 watt stereo at four ohms, 17 watt at eight ohms. And those are 30 watt transducers. That guy's, I believe, 36 watts at four ohms. I can't remember, but he's, this Sansui is a lot lower power than him. And he drives them significantly better for some reason. But here you are. There's a top little port in there. So yeah, with the uh, crappy little box, he actually does put out quite a bit more power, or more sound. So, next thing to do is build boxes for them out of composites. And build, actually sorry, not build boxes, build panels out of composites and then we'll build an actual proper box out of wood for them so that they are in phase. <clears throat> and um, yeah, oh and by the way, that little amp that you saw me fiddling with right here, he's a little thingy we're probably going to do for a class kit. These dual 4 channel, or I mean sorry, dual 4 watt. So yeah, stereo 4 watt chips. He's actually powering my, you know, they're, they're, they're my very first replacement speakers for my car, but they're 60 watt RMS 100 watt peak and they're freaking awesome, but that's off of a little tiny, little tiny thing and it powers amazing. I'll just give you a quick little show for him to plug him in. Show you how good they drive it at only four four watts. It's pretty loud. board with socket to check all of the chips that we're going to build for our kit. Mind you, this isn't even a full volume too. Actually, that is full. There we go. The idea is to build a kit out of them and then sell them with transducers here at the transdus. Well, yeah, sell them. Really do a do a court, uh, class on amps and trans uh, transducers. See how they work and explain that to people, and then offer them a kit to build their own. So, yep, that's the plan. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.